In this video, I'll be showing you how to get some really cool, creative, and abstract photos using paper. Seriously, paper. Let's get started. Hey, welcome back guys. And today we're doing paper photography. We're in the studio and by studio, I mean the other side of my very small office. And we're gonna be looking at how to take some interesting and creative photos with paper. All you need is a little piece of paper like this, preferably a few. And if you do have access to some colored paper or some construction paper, that's kind of fun as well. But if you don't, that's okay too. All you need is a few light sources. Today I'll be using an RGB and LED video light, really inexpensive lights you can pick up on Amazon, but if you don't have access to those, you can use a lamp, you could use the light on your cell phone. It really doesn't matter. Today I'll be using my own macro lens. If you don't have access to a macro lens, you can get some extension tubes, which essentially converts it to a macro lens. And if you don't have access to any of that, you can use a regular lens, hopefully with a bit of zoom to get in there and crop in if you need to. So today's just about being creative. It's about learning how to manipulate the light to get some really interesting and creative outcomes. And that's really what photography is all about. Learning how to control and manipulate the light is gonna have a massive impact on our photos. Just look at the time of day, for example, and it just shows you just how dramatic it can be from midday to golden hour. And that's really what we're kind of going for here. So I'm gonna show you some very simple setups and then we're gonna get into some more complex and a little bit more creative setups as well. But the sky is the limit with creativity here, guys. So let's jump in and have a look. Okay, so here's our setup. It's very simple. All we've got is a tripod with our camera mounted on it, our macro lens, and then a little macro rail. And that's just gonna let me make really fine adjustments really easily. Another tool that you don't necessarily need, but does help things out. So let's jump right in and show you a couple different examples and some options of what you can do with uh, little to no light. How about that? And right off the bat there, you can see I've got one piece of paper underneath and one piece of paper just with the edge there. And all we're going to be really doing is just playing with shadows and light to make it look interesting. So as I manipulate the light, you can just see kind of what you like, bend it however you want to kind of just have a neat outcome and use your focus point to determine where you want focus and use your aperture to control how much blur that you need or want. And that's pretty much it. So that's kind of neat right off the bat there. And keep in mind in post, you can play with the shadows and highlights as well. But just to kind of get a baseline in this piece of paper here, all I've done is taken it and actually just rolled up one side. And that's gonna give me kind of a natural looking curve. It does take a little bit of trial and error to find something neat and to learn what looks good. It's gonna be different for everybody because this is art and it's personal preference, and there's no right or wrong here. Just have fun with it. Here's a few examples of just basic white paper with a single diffused light. For me, there's a beauty in minimalist photography that I'm attracted to, and I totally understand that it might not be for everybody, but it's actually harder than you think. And why don't we pop on one of our LED lights here? But if it's the fun and colorful contrasty pictures that you're looking for, I suggest just starting with one light and white paper to see what you can come up with. The more you practice your light, the more you take your photography to the next level. Change your light sources and camera settings to see what different effects you can get. And you can also add more and different lights and move them around in real time to see the impact that they make. Use different color papers to add a hue to your image or add different color lights for incredible results. Sometimes though, it just doesn't work out. In those cases, sometimes it's just better to wipe the slate clean and start over. Look how much of a difference here just changing the light makes. Don't be scared to try new things, new processes, and whatever your imagination can create. Here I am just rolling a few different color papers together. And here's what that looked like. Adjust the composition, change the point of focus. Just be creative. Here are a few of my favorites.
Here's the same photo four times with different lighting. And here's the same photo upside down and on an angle. It's easy to take these abstract photos into a Lightroom or a different photo editor and with just a few basic edits make them look completely different. Go nuts and add other props and lights to your project. So one of the cool things about this process is that it's never gonna be the same. It's gonna be virtually impossible for you to recreate the same thing twice. And guys, I hope you liked this video and you enjoyed it. And if you did, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. I wanna hear from you if you have any questions or comments or ideas, make sure you drop them down in the comments and like always make mistakes, be yourself and get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time.